Ladies and gents, welcome again to another Steel Donut. This time we're doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be teaching these fucks mm. about something they don't already know. Oh boy. Okay? I'm ready. We're going to be learning from the Institute of uh, WikiHow. <laughs> WikiHow University. Yeah. Okay? Oh, I've got no. my doctorate in applied nonsense, so... Oh, we're, no. We're, we're, we're going we're to... I'm going to give you a choice. You can learn... One of three things, so pick A, B, or C. A. A? Yeah, that's fine. Let's go with A. Alright. I'm sort this of is, afraid. This is a oh, tutorial no. on how to make people what? think you're immortal. Oh, no. Yeah, in case you needed a wiki out. Now, I want you to do this very carefully. Don't scroll past where I've read. Because there are pictures that WikiHow puts in there, and the pictures are pretty great, too. Okay. I can already tell. How to make people think... You're immortal. 83 editors to this, by yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> People help write this. As a, as a human, you are most definitely mortal. Unfortunately, there is little you can do to change the fact that your body will someday grow old and die. Shit. I was hoping I could do something about that. <laughs> However, that doesn't mean that you can't give the impression that your longevity is somewhat greater than that of your fellow mortals. Okay. Okay. With a bit of mystery, maturity, which isn't to be found with people <laughs> trying to make themselves seem immortal, seem immortal. <laughs> and a reliance on the things that give an impression of a lengthy life, you may succeed in convincing the less skeptical around you. In other words, the, the no less one. smart around yeah. <laughs> in other words, the complete morons around you. <laughs> yeah. It, that you are truly able to live forever and for everyone else, you can at least present the aura of being timeless. Um, Can I just say, if I meet someone who claims to be immortal or tries to make it seem like they're being immortal by following the rules in this how-to, I'm just going to leave. I'm yeah. just going to leave them in the dust. I'm just going to run away as fast as I can. Because these people are either retarded or crazy. Possibly both. If you're interested in creating a romanticized Victorian-era style of immortality, read on! <laughs> are, you guys, are you guys interested? Not really, but why not? Sure. Yellow? I'm interested. Yeah, sure. Sure, whatever. Let's Step one. Wear a stupid hat. <laughs> <laughs> Dress like a fucking pilgrim. Yeah. Step one. Dress in old-fashioned clothing. The exact era does not matter, because you don't care about convincing people who are intelligent. But the quality is very important. A subtle Victorian fashion is ideal for giving the impression that you've already been around for some time. Or that you're a fucking hipster. <laughs> you can find little pieces of Victorian style garb at thrift stores like Goodwill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so can. basically oh, be a hipster. I went down to, yeah. went down to um, the Goodwill and they just had nothing but Victorian era stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Yeah, I, I was like, come big... on, if I wear this, people are going to think I'm immortal. I don't want to wear this. <laughs> or you can always buy online. Don't forget to use your creativity to vamp up clothing in the Victorian style. Think lace, brooches, brocade, velvet, etc. <laughs> what? I, I like can plan, see where man. they're going with this. I can Look see. Look for it. vintage, but why? Look for vintage brooches, particularly cameos. They can go on sweaters, dresses, and give and more to give the impression of an earlier age. And look at that great you picture. Know, I'm, I'm Whoever glad, draws these. I'm glad, I'm glad they're also giving us some tips on how to accessorize because, honestly, I'm not really good at it. But, you know, I want to, you know, give that bit of extra flair. So I'm at least yeah, glad they give us I mean, what I was article. doing, what I was doing, oh, well, there's a comment section, I believe. Um, there's a, and also the pictures are making the scroll bar look really small. Um, you know, I, I, I always, I, when I was trying to look immortal, um, I dressed up in Victorian era clothes, and then I had a gramophone strapped around my neck. But, you know, it just didn't work nearly as well as a vintage brooch. Yeah. All right. Sweaters and shawls are great because they look old-fashioned and they match perfectly with vintage brooches. And that is a clearly modern sweater. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. It probably has a zipper. Wear older style dresses and frocks. And then we see, I think she's not... Wearing a shirt? That's a blouse, I think? Yeah. Don't forget your old-fashioned modesty. P people of your time didn't wear super tight tank tops or skimpy little cut-off shorts. People Why, back in previous centuries, bearing your ankles was unheard of. Because they were fucking Puritans. 
Of course, after living through different eras, you've probably modernized a bit and realized that all of that was a bunch of stupid bullshit. And so it's no big deal to wear a skirt that reaches your knees rather than your ankles. Oh, how naughty. Or to wear a top that doesn't touch your collarbones. Oh, just remember to dress somewhat modestly. Oh my god, so gall people have to dress like half naked or something. I don't think you could fool someone who was like, who had half of a brain, and I mean literally had half their brain removed (laughs) with this kind of tip. (sighs) Step Uh. two, have a collection of things that work. You want your furniture to be serviceable and designed to last. You assume that you're going to outlive the lifetime guarantee on most things, whichever era it's from. And look at that picture. <laughs> what I, does that like, have to do with I don't, anything? First of all, I don't know what that has to do with anything, but look at that hand. Ugh. Oh, what is Ugh. that? Like, her look pinky that, is kind hand. of like a thumb. <laughs> does and she, she have a have thumb? A, she has backwards hands. Oh my god. Christ! Oh my god. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that's that rose petal thing on her finger is supposed to be, well, a rose petal ring or something, but it honestly just looks like a big smeared turd. <laughs> <sighs> Your clothes should be the best examples of their type, however old they are. If you bought a good suit in 1930, you could still be wearing it now. Likewise, your car or your bureau. Probably not. You Probably could be not. wearing your car. <laughs> Yeah, (laughs) you can wear your bureau. This ties into the idea of refined taste. What you knew you enjoyed 90 years ago is still something you can enjoy now, regardless of how modern fashion... How modern fashion what? There's no verb there. No, there's also no what there. It's just regardless regardless of modern fashion. Oh, yeah. Regardless... I'm sorry, I read that wrong. That was my bad. Um, Yeah, okay, that was stupid. Yeah. Here's some books. Ancient Egyptian, Ancient Greek. We're going way back for this. Now, look at (laughs) this. This requires so much time investment. Tip three. Learn old languages. Like, literally languages that are dead and other people, like, like not even historians really know. Like, Ancient Greek or Ancient Egyptian. Depending on the era you want to portray yourself as Egyptian. (laughs) Yeah, learn Ancient Egyptian, dude. Does anyone know how to speak Ancient Egyptian? You could just... Yeah, I'm just writing a letter to one of my other immortal friends in hieroglyphics. You could just speak complete... You could... You might as well just speak complete gibberish and act as if... Wow, how did this pale, skinny, white kid actually be Egyptian? (laughs) This will increase your authenticity of actually being from the time and place. No. No, it won't. Ancient Egypt. You stupid (laughs) schmuck. With your Victorian era clothing. You'll waste ten years learning ancient (laughs) Egyptian so that you can look immortal instead of going and using that education to, like, I don't know, be a historian and do something interesting or useful with your fucking life. Now look at those eyes. (laughs) Face. (laughs) Look at that face. She's her just... eyes are so small and her nose is so huge. Damn, her nose is huge. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Also, I'm it's apparently not working. I'm just She's got, like, eyeballing it on your face. Yeah. Connor, has a pretty, Connor has a pretty normal face. And I, I gotta say, you're right. Her nose is enormous. Like, like no, no, look at, look, look at. She's got a just hump in the middle of her nose. I think it's supposed to be, like, her bridge, but... You know, the nose bridge, wow. but look at it. It looks like a flap it, of skin. It, it's like she went with the perspective, but then there's that line going to the left, which looks like it's the other part of the nose. Yeah, yeah look, it looks like she's just uh, got a giant flap of skin sitting oh on top God, of her nose. I bet, you, I bet you, like, if you were to extend the drawing out to the, like, in all directions, her, face her, would be her, six mouth would be, her mouth would be somewhere to the right. Like, literally, way, way to the right of that WikiHow logo down there. Like, <laughs> way off that way. <laughs> Number four, act like you have many secrets. <laughs> if someone asks to, c- if someone asks to come to your house later than seven o'clock, always come up with a hasty but believable excuse. Immortal people have many secrets that unravel after dark. Really? Do they tell about all those immortal dark. people who do exist. What? Leave around some accidental clues so people will believe you are lying about where you are at night. Yeah. Do that around your wife and see how well that, you know... How, <laughs> how that well goes. that turns out. <laughs> Honey, I'm not cheating on you. I'm immortal. <laughs> <laughs> that has to be the laziest excuse I've ever heard. <laughs> then deny it half-believably, but not so well that they will actually believe you. 
slight suspicion is the key. <laughs> Except for when hey, you Connor. want them to know you're immortal. So, <laughs> I went, um... You don't, you don't want them to night. know you're immortal. They want, you want them to think uh, you're immortal. Which, if yeah, you just keep I making up excuses, they're not going to think. Slightly they're going to think you're an asshole that makes up excuses. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. What? Number five? Yeah, number five. What is this? Oh, my. I She's getting ready to eat his face. I thought that. But she has no teeth. This is like one of those pictures where it's like two faces or a vase in the middle. Uh, yeah, you know, it, you know, the weird <laughs> thing is actually. It, uh, I'm looking at it, and the more I think about it, I think this is supposed to be like some like some Pac-Man cosplay or something. <laughs> Martin, waka waka waka. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Five seem to have been there. This one's probably my favorite tip. <laughs> Brush up on your history, or at the very least, get a wistful look in your eye when somebody <laughs> brings it up. <laughs> you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? If we count the New and the Old Testaments, we know more about Jesus Christ than we knew about, like, Caesar. <sighs> <laughs> Those days. What did you say, Connor? Are you perhaps immortal? No. <laughs> Try working extra hard for a history test about the place and time you were born. At the very least. At the very least. There's one. There's one good dip in there. It's a yeah. kernel of goodness. Try studying, studying for your study tests. Hard, yeah. Then again, the reason why is completely ridiculous. <laughs> if your teacher asks you something and you really don't know the answer, just say that you'd prefer not to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how it works. See if see how far that gets you. No, so, I um, did that. I did that breath, actually what do you think, in my math. What do you think that scene really meant? Ah, I... Guys, 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 no, actually I did that in, uh, in my history test. Um, My teacher was like, you know, here's the test. And I said... You know, I'd I'd prefer not to talk about you know the stuff on the test, and um, I failed history class. It was really weird. <laughs> yeah, what a weird quinky doink. They didn't. Yeah, they didn't, I, really they sure didn't think happened, you were immortal they're... and were just not comfortable with <laughs> reliving those I memories. I think that was it. These people yeah. nowadays just don't know what it was like. They you know there. these people nowadays they just don't have you know feelings anymore. They're just so, yeah. cold hearted <clears throat> bastards. Every single one of them. Or, if you think you know but make a mistake, act slightly confused when the teacher corrects you. You might even throw in a line about how history is written by the victors. Dig your own grave even further. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the, Sp the Spanish War of Succession was between the Spanish and the Italians, right? Uh, no. <laughs> well, history is written by yeah, the that's, victors. That's what you think. <laughs> so, well, I mean, is that what they're saying? <laughs> wrong before. Yeah. Why didn't you ask someone who was there? <laughs> oh. <laughs> then a picture of a fucking gramophone. Gramophone. <sighs> Become familiar with classical music because all of these all of these uh, these people use gramophones. Mozart, Tchaikovsky, Beethoven, Chopin, Bach, all the greats that you can name. Yeah. Why didn't you name some people who people wouldn't already know so that it sounds like you know something about The them. author isn't immortal though. Oh, that's true. It's impressive and unusual when a young person has an intimate familiarity with music from eras long before his or her own. So like people the 70s. will most. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. I was going to say, I know Clapton like the back of my hand. <laughs> I remember when Eric Clapton was around. Good oh my time. god, Matt, are you immortal? <laughs> <laughs> so people will most likely pay no, quite a I'm bit of notice to your I'm young for my age. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys remember most... the doors? The yeah. who? No, uh. the doors, you silly! <laughs> <laughs> the people who will most likely pay quite a bit of notice to your extensive and uncommon interest. Like your interest in trying to make people think you're immortal. You're immortal. <laughs> Couple this interest with clear and verifiable knowledge about the composers. Depending on how good you are at storytelling, you might even like to sprinkle your conversation with anecdotes about the time that Mozart did X. To see. You remember that time Mozart jumped off his uh, <laughs> his dad's porch and it was like really scary. You remember that? He nearly time? broke his leg because he dived right into a into like a into like a, a bunch of craggy rocks. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> good times. A fucking stone bush. Yeah, a stone bush. <laughs> Keep in mind that there's a huge difference between dropping that, uh, dropping a that one time Mozart and the that one time Wolfgang and I. 
<laughs> Let's not be ridiculous here. You're trying to convince people you're immortal. Not that you're immortal and ha- was close friends with yeah, Mozart. Yeah, there's still a line. Come on. Be reasonable. <laughs> Remember that things which were common knowledge in the past could be sal- a salacious secret now, and vice versa. If you knew that Wa- Oscar Wilde was gay before his arrest in 1895, that places you as being part of a very per- particular social group and a privileged insider, you might find it jarring that this is now common knowledge. Uh, if what? you've lived since Oscar Wilde was alive, and you didn't know, then... That Oscar Wilde was gay. You had to have found out by now. Oh, I love that face. Yeah. Okay. Next picture. We got. Uh, <laughs> we got one very happy woman. Holy fuck! Wow. Like, what do you think she's saying? Uh, hey, I'm immortal. <laughs> no, Honey, she's just she's just in awe. Really she's just like oh. Uh, Ha-ha, yeah, they're finally taking notice of me. Yeah, it's like, honey, I, you can stop the charade, okay? Like we, we know, and she's like, oh, mom, you know my secret yeah. that I'm immortal. You want to know what the girl said? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's all she said. How long is this article? Too Seven. long. Take hospitality seriously. <laughs> When you entertain guests, do it properly. Invite people around for supper, have a few decanters at the ready, be willing to play parlor games. Man, history sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, they are, and then they're always this, talking about the good old times, come on. Yeah. Pursuant to this, learn to cook. Your simple comfort foods will be cheap things made, by, made from leftovers. Cold roast sandwiches. Right, why, why do I have to learn this stuff? Why do I have to learn to cook if I'm just going to fool like, other it people? Sounds like, it sounds like making you th- making people think you're immortal is a full-time fucking job. <laughs> yeah, and like, yeah, I mean, you got to learn to cook that's when a very, you're at home to That's a very yourself. big stretch to, to convince someone of. I mean, you're convi- immortal. You're, you're convinced, yeah, you're convinced, I guess, yeah, but you're convincing, convincing someone that they should learn to cook, learn ancient languages... Learn all about history, yeah. dress a certain way, accessorize a certain way, buy fucking furniture a certain way. Like, <laughs> well, if you want to look really ancient, just live in a cave. Yeah. Just skin a bear and use that as your clothing. <sighs> Soups made from dried... Oh, sure. oh, yeah, and complain that there aren't any mammoths around. <laughs> <laughs> Soups made from dried stores. <laughs> try, try to catch up with your old friend Dick Borer. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen it since the high school days. Oh, it ain't Dick Borer. It's been too long, man. <laughs> Try not to be too dependent on the fridge and freezer. You might store potatoes in the cellar, but the concept of frozen fish is a convenient novelty rather than a staple. First, no, gonna if, have to you're immortal, if, if you're immortal, you should just adapt to the modern technology. Know your spirits and know when to serve tea. Sometimes your guests will want a refreshing gin and tonic on a hot afternoon. Sometimes they'll be arriving for the night out of a bitter snowstorm and need a stirrup cup as soon as they get out of their overcoats. So do you run an inn or something? What the fuck is this? Implying everyone else is also trying to be immortal. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Provide, be generous, and make them feel welcome. Good manners are timeless. Okay, stop. I'm not even going to read the rest of that fucking thing. Because good manners is something that you should have regardless of whether you're trying to be immortal or not. Don't tell people that good manners are timeless. That's fucking stupid. This Just this don't be a dickhead. End. It never ends. Now look at that next it, picture. The, the article is immortal. Oh my god, I'm being the seduced. The article is immortal. You're being seduced by someone is. who's having a stroke. <laughs> it's, I'm feeling very complicated that, right now. That right eye is like, what wow. the hell one eye's is looking that? Yeah, the other eye's looking for you. Yeah. Uh, she, she looks <laughs> pretty. Okay, well, number... Number eight is pretty good, too. Develop a slight accent. I've been working on that, Wait a actually. Minute. Matt? Quiet yeah. time. Yella, ignore this part of the conversation. Plug your ears or something. What? Guys, I think Yella might actually be immortal. Hey, he, has, he has a slight accent. Are you fucking oh my God. me? He does have a slight he accent. He has a slight Could accent. He, actually he was talking about cla- kids liking classical music. Yeah, he was. we were all like, what the fuck? But, I mean, it makes sense now. He, he has strokes regularly. According to these pictures, that's one of the signs that you're immortal. (laughs) (laughs) Haha, why are we laughing? I don't know why. (laughs) 
Yeah. We figured it out. The we figured out your up. secret, yeah, Yellow. Yeah. And he does what? wear wooden shoes. <gasps> what are you oh talking about? <laughs> You're immortal, aren't you? No. Please teach us your ways. You made us think you're immortal. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, there's this great article on WikiHow. WikiHow, you say? <laughs> Never heard of it. What is this WikiHow? Is this some kind of how of <laughs> Wait wikis? a minute. You don't know WikiHow. You're not immortal, are you? Huh? Uh, uh, I have there's... to go. I have to go wax my. Wax my wolves. <laughs> That's a believable excuse, right? Yeah. Yeah, sure. As an immortal, you may very well be an immigrant. A subtle accent will show this. If you're American, try to add a slight British or French pe- speech pattern to your pronunciation. People will just think you're an animal. Wee oui, wee! Oui, fromage! <laughs> Baguette! Ah, <laughs> yes! Oh, yes. Oh, the chicks me. in! <laughs> I am Italian, and I have come here to the Americas to make a living. To the living. future. To the future America. <laughs> Ratatouille! Yeah. <laughs> Ratatouille? Pronounce your vowels slightly differently, and try your best to subtly imitate an aristocrat in your speech. <laughs> you know, I would ironically start talking with, like, an accent, but... That you are immortal. Of... You are immortal. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> that kind of defeats the whole purpose, since I... Uh... I feel like this is the beginning of a theme song. Something like, <laughs> he's lived for 500 years, and now he makes YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alternatively, use the next step to make your English sound old-fashioned. Uh, preposterous. Oh, quite dubious. Uh, Indubitably. I don't yeah. quite understand, old boy. Doubloons. Doubloons. <laughs> <laughs> Or the, the blues. <laughs> Remember that you aren't necessarily going to be an aristocrat. Not everyone in the past was posh. Most people were just ordinary people. Well, imagine that. The average person was average. Who knew? Wow, that's so shocking. Talk fondly but vaguely about where you grew up. Sometimes drift into melancholy at the fact that you can never go back. Even Church without revolutions, wars, and political sea changes, the character of most of this world has changed over the past hundred years. We'll need a has 19th changed. editor. Has I, changed. I never has have change. And still I see, the, really see no changes. Wake up in the morning and I ask myself, is life worth living? Should I blast myself? Okay. Um, what had once been your gamekeeper's house is now probably an outward bound holiday center. What? No this is getting be. really specific. Your oh, gamekeeper's God. house must have been fucking huge. <laughs> yeah, he had a whole <laughs> mall to himself. Yeah. He's just your... a gamekeeper. He like lived in a shack. Your lovable young grandson is buried in the churchyard, along with his wife and their sons and their sons. Time has moved on, and you've been left behind. Starring Nicolas Cage. (laughs) 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 Oh, look at those teeth. What is the point of this picture? Is this made in Poser? (laughs) This may have been made in Poser. Improve your vocabulary. As an immortal who has seen much of the world, you most likely know how to use a lot of uncommon words and phrases. Reading classic literature will help you become familiar with terms that are less common in modern speech. Example, Shakespeare coined words like ghastly and tongue-tied, you mean as well as phrases still like... use those words? What? As well as phrases like, all that glitters is not gold. Um, people still use that. Yeah. Incorporating obscure, complicated words like the word obscure, so and obscure, ghastly, and ghastly, and phrases into your speech will make you seem wiser and therefore older, depending on where you live. Or if you live you in Middle America, asshole. maybe. If you live anywhere with people with brains, no. <laughs> So consider studying Old and Middle English. These originating forms of modern English contain wonderful words and phrases that you can add knowingly to your everyday oh conversations. My God. They're fun to learn, they increase your understanding of English grammar, and they're historically useful, enabling you to read Old English texts such as Beowulf in their original English. But why, God, why would, would you read that? Beowulf? Our only goal is to make people believe that we're immortal. 
Dude, I could Why read would Beowulf. Why care about anything? Technically speaking, if I had a pronunciation guide, I could read Beowulf in its original old English, but it wouldn't make me look immortal. Guys, guys, if we move to the next picture, you'll see possibly the worst embroidering I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, the flowers look like they're We're broken. only halfway done? Yeah, well, don't quit your day job. Your needle's broken. I can see- Look, look, that needle oh isn't- Oh god, yes. What, what the, the fuck, fuck is wrong with that needle? Okay, seriously, big dick it, it looks- It looks I like it's just it sticking out of the deep. finger, like- Oh my, it is sticking out of the finger, don't maybe, you see, like- Maybe because you're immortal, you also have superpowers. Okay, yo, I'm gonna, like, literally go- You, you can just math like, needles just done. stick out of your fingertips. I'm just Number gonna... ten! Take up hobbies from eras long past. The top ten ways to make people think you're immortal. Number ten. Number nine. Yeah. Right. Hobbies that have less appeal today but were once thriving are excellent ones to take up and learn. And the more intricate and labor-intensive, the more likely that your skills will astonish people. On the other hand, yeah, as soon as you realize no one believes your shit... Oh, oh my no. god, your arm is broken. Here, let me heal it by bleeding you with leeches. <laughs> Maybe not that over the top, but like, you'll know- I you... don't know, this person wants me to buy fucking furniture! You'll know that you wasted five years of your life uh, learning, like, knitting and embroidery and shit. And ancient Egyptian. And ancient Egyptian when you realize you're not fooling anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Think about hobbies such as lace making, tatting. That's how mm. ancient it is, I've Ugh. never even heard of it. Or unless they mean tattoo artists. <laughs> Building exquisite wooden toys in the Victorian style. <laughs> embroidering wall tapestries, etc. In addition, a number of hobbies that have a re fresh revival can also be relied on, but take an old-fashioned slant on them rather than more modern versions, such as hobbies as n such with such hobbies as knitting, taxidermy, and tatting again. Should we just look it up? I don't know no. what tatting is. I'm not going to look it up. Taxidermy a as a hobby? Do it. Taxidermy is a hobby, I guess, if you're guess. weird. No, you police officers just do not understand. In my day, it was a very popular And what hobby. exactly was your day? The 90s. 1890s. <laughs> <laughs> you convinced the entire justice police system. Force, yeah. Yeah. Sports hobbies that were once very popular but are less so now include badminton, croquet, and side saddle riding. For Grand sports, for sports such as tennis, resort to wearing older style fashions and playing only on grass courts. Hold garden parties with bad. Okay, so you want me to own like a big Victorian style house now? <laughs> you want me to take up horseback riding? <laughs> That's expensive shit, dude. Hold garden parties with badminton and croquet as. Croquette? Croquet? Croquet. 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 I don't know why I'm saying that wrong. It just sounds weird to me now. As major forms of entertainment, movies like Merchant Ivory's Room with a View will help give you a good sense of such events in the past. Because As the, best way, watch, the best way to learn about the past is by watching movies that are semi-historical. Yep. Prefer card and board games over video and electronic games. Oh, I guess I can't play Civ Five anymore. No, nope. you can't play Civ Five. Nope. Hunt through antique or secondhand stores and look for original versions of board games with wooden, bakelite, and glass pieces, chess sets, and cards, etc. Yep, those are some chess pieces. Those are some good old-fashioned <laughs> chess pieces. Those mm -hmm. are chess pieces, in fact. Guys, the picture right after that. <laughs> she's giving a reverse handy. Yeah, she's she's bored, but she's giving a handy, like, off to the side. <laughs> Eleven, be mature. Yeah, we did fail. We failed. Be we Eleven, failed be mature. Hard. Look at this. If you can look at this picture without uh, making a handy joke, you're Actually, mature enough to be. If you can to look be at this picture without giggling Actually, like a madman. If you want it to seem like you ha that you have lived through many ages, behaving in a mature fashion is a must. You must you have seen many things and learned a great deal. So aim to present an aura of wisdom without being arrogant or know-it-all. The longer you live, the more you learn how little you know. Be thoughtful of others and listen to them with attentiveness. Offer adv advice only when it is asked for. Avoid bossing people around. That's good advice for the for the, like in general. If people don't ask for your advice, shut the fuck up. Be generous. Someone has lived a long someone who has lived a long time would know the value of giving back to others in order to lead a fulfilling life. Yep, whatever.
I'm History. donating my time to you guys right <laughs> well, now. Guys, I just realized to be mature links to an actual article and be mature, and the first thing is learn more about a hobby you like. No. That's the first step to be mature. Later. Learning a hobby. Read books from many historical eras. I'm going to bed. You're not going to bed. I'm not going this to bed. This is the same as another tip. The tip yeah, about it, learning yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Western classics, the Divine Comedy, Paradise yeah, Lost, blah, blah, Pride blah, and Prejudice, blah, 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 the blah, Scarlet blah, blah. Letter. Scroll down to the next section and look at that picture. Look at the the pen. The picture? <laughs> look at the pen. Oh, I thought he said next. Oh, I think God. that's supposed to be a fountain pen. Yeah. <laughs> that is that's not how you write with a fountain it's pen. It's a solid turd. <laughs> That's not how you write with a fucking That's fountain, not a fountain pen. pen. Look at it. Look at it. It's broken. He broke the no, fountain no, the pen. No, the little thing on the tip, right, has... In a fountain pen, there's a little slit in between. That's where the ink comes down. But it's not supposed to bend. <laughs> like it's not made of broken. felt. I think he broke it. I'm just going to skip that bit about reading historical texts because fuck You're that. You're going to skip the bit about reading vampire fiction? I don't care. Take up calligraphy. Take up a hobby. You've already said that three times. Fancy penmanship is generally associated with past eras by stupid people when people are taught to write in elegant scrolls using quills. Okay, have you ever looked at a fucking historical document? Half that shit is illegible even if you can read the language. Fun fact about that kind of stuff. Did you know that when we wrote the Declaration of Independence, we didn't have a dictionary, so a lot of the words were spelled wrong? Well, yeah. That's just so. Uh, if you could even read it, so I mean, <sighs> learn a penmanship suited to yourself. Or something. Little loops here and dashes there. Little loops, the Q. Yeah, <laughs> this might require some practice before you settle on a style that works best for you. Wow. So write letters by hand. Okay, they. I'm pretty sure they used the same drawing of the paper and hand yeah. and all that, and they yeah. just put different yeah, they, shit on it. Yeah. They so did. wait, wait. Yeah. They want you to take up calligraphy and write like. Oh my god, I just realized how fucking horrible that thing looks. Like, yeah. look at all those fucking vines all over it. What does this say? You slept with... You slept, you slept with, with him, him, you for... You, you slept, slept with him, you... I think that's supposed to be fornicated. F-O-R-N. Forn what? something. You slept with him, you fornicated feminazi. That's what I'm gonna go with. That's what I think it says. <laughs> My God, he's dropping. And this hate next mail. one, I don't even know what this next one's supposed to say. It says squiggle, 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 squiggle. squiggle. What did they just say about like learning how to write? Penmanship, well? fuck <laughs> you. No, you says when you're handwriting your letters. If you're trying to impress on people that you know calligraphy, why don't you use calligraphy? <sighs> okay, just a book. It's the same etiquette. book as a. Uh, oh no! Story. Read an old etiquette book, such as an early version of Emily by Emily Post, to get a good idea for more formal types of salutations and content. Same book as, uh, just etiquette. Yeah, it's the same, same book as before. Yep. And here's like a, a fucking picture. Yeah, right. Paste it in. <laughs> yeah, copy right. paste it. Yeah, right. WikiHow guy, you drew that. I want to see an interview with this guy because like his pictures show up all over the place. <laughs> no, no. They, every one of the WikiHow articles has pictures with it. Yeah, it's yeah, like are they all by the same guy? No, no, it's yeah, quite different. People. I think but like, this well, a guy, lot of them are by the same. Have the same style. Styles, so I think yeah. a lot of them are by the same person. Develop a profound fascination with art and architecture from a, all, across all different ages. If you're a sophisticated person who is interested Good. in art and architecture already, which, by the way, there's a link. Appreciate the evolution. How to of appreciate art. the evolution of architecture? Take an appreciation of architecture class. If, you're, if you can't appreciate it naturally, then, you know, maybe how it's to not for you. It's impossible. Yeah. It's possible that it's just not for you. <laughs> so That's the next Look part. at our next picture. Oh my god. Keep oh your man. distance. <laughs> oh man. Why wasn't this up there with the uh, wistful look in your eye when you, uh, you call this wistful? Because that is one I don't wistful know, maybe fucking look. Falling asleep. Her uh, eyes are so tiny compared to her nose and mouth. Look, both eyes together make up her mouth. Holy cow. Holy shit, you're right. Her nostrils oh. are teensy. <laughs> How does <she> breathe? <laughs> oh my god, they're like pinholes. <laughs> oh god. It's. it's... <laughs> Keep your distance. Stay polite but reserved. Don't be too unapproachable, though, or else you won't be able to drop all those hints you've been working on. <laughs> Even for you. Oh, fuck. We actually, we I actually stayed up all night working on these hints. Older point. What the fuck? Act as though you're not interested in developing any serious attachments. After all, you're only passing through. <laughs> Cue sad music. World's smallest violin. This oh, and the last oh one. Oh my god. Be good with animals. Fuck, finally. Okay. Why? 
I don't know. I don't know. Until about until the, the 1950s, 1950s, people had animals in their lives more than we do today. Also, until, like, recent times, people have been a lot more abusive towards animals. And only recently has animal cruelty been a thing that we actually seriously considered. So, don't, yep. uh... But I love this this last bit. This last tip on number 17. I'll just skip number 17, really. Tend towards being affectionate, but unsentimental. A good horse is a good horse, but it's not a person. There's no dichotomy to you in giving a rabbit to a child to play with for an afternoon, then serving them the same rabbit in a stew a few days later. As long as the poor beasts don't suffer unnecessarily, it's all fair. Two questions. One, how the fuck does that have anything to do with being immortal? Two, that's a fucked up thing to do. <laughs> Not to the rabbit, to the child. <laughs> like, uh, oh, I, can I, I um... play with can I play with the bunny today? No, he's in the stew you're eating. No, you ate him yesterday. yesterday. Yeah, you dumbass. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! It's Fuck moments. you, kid! <laughs> <laughs> well, when, yeah. there's actually a section, if you if you come come to an article and you see something that you feel like you could add to, they give you a chance to add tips. Okay, so we'll just skim these tips, okay? Um, uh, say words like glorious or dashing or absurd. Already in there. That is just fucking I use the absurd. Word, I use the word glorious and absurd pretty frequently. Dashing less so, unless I'm using it as a, you know... A present. I like the next one. You know, have a large collection of various items from throughout history. Anything from old chess sets to Super Mario will do. <laughs> Super Mario. Mario. Now yeah, I Super am Mario will make you look immortal. <laughs> yeah, and this like is I what said, they called a get a, beta get a Who Max. album. <laughs> get an album from the Who and just yeah. have it, and they'll think you're immortal. <laughs> I know it might seem like ancient technology to you, but it was only yesterday. To yeah. me. Talk about how you are wo- how you wonder what the next century will bring and how you are looking forward to it. Make sure it's only a passing comment. Talk about how good it is you don't have to deal with smelly peasants anymore. <laughs> Fucking peasants? They suck! But not everyone was posh. This is conflicting information. I hated the oh, other smelly peasants. Warnings. I thought you were supposed to speak nice and <laughs> guys, not be Guys, guys, there's warnings. When talking about people who lived in the past, be careful to make it sound like you knew the person unless you're a top-right storyteller with all the facts down perfectly. Yeah, so... so or you could just retell the storyline of... Uh, of uh, Assassin's Creed 2 uh, Blur- Brotherhood and Revelations uh, and just are, pretend guys. you knew just pretend you knew Leonardo da Vinci and Machiavelli <laughs> guys, guys I'm Ezio the only people you're 752 years old will bring about laughter or pity honestly pity. not laughter I would never laugh it's like if they said no really I'm 752 years old and I'd be like I'm so sorry that you think that <laughs> The Going idea is overboard. to give the impression that you've lived over the ages, not actually, not to actually spell it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I going, going overboard. overboard. How do you do, governor? How do you do, governor? <laughs> I feel like I should leave a, another warning on here. Instead of going overboard will not make you seem immortal, it will make you seem like an idiot. It should say, trying to seem immortal will make you seem like an idiot. <laughs> Period. End of st- sentence. And then, of course, there's yeah. a v- things you'll need section down there. Vintage or retro clothing, good quality. Copies Check. of classics. Dictionary for older Check. words. A slight accent. Check. Check, I have all of those. Am I oh immortal Oh my god, yet? you're immortal. <laughs> and this or at artic- least you can make us Did think this article you help are. Me? No! This, this article has been read 311, 600, 673 times. The, th- the thought that 300,000 people... Holy cow, why would you ever do this? Oh yeah, and then the related wiki house are pretty good too. Yeah. Alright, well, that was... Did you guys feel like you learned a lot? Fuck I wiki feel cow. enlightened, good sir. This oh my god. is so stupid. He really is immortal. He really is immortal, guys. Oh. Yep, if there's... you guys have <laughs> any questions or comments about anything in the past... Please post it down below. And, and Yellow uh, might get to yeah, it. Yeah, Yellow will try to... <laughs> Don't worry. He has the time. <laughs> the time. Wink. Wink. <laughs> nudge, nudge. nudge. <laughs> okay, well, I think that was pretty good. Thank you for joining us, uh, yes. viewers. And thank you, for, uh, thank you for letting me teach you all mm-hmm. something. I- I've read this one before. Straight so. up. Beautiful. Knowledge is power. Real deal, straight up. Yeah. yeah. All right, see you Thanks guys. Thanks for watching.